Now, Robin Erica, she says it's open to some interpretation. And yes, it's about her freedom of expression, this one word we're about to reveal. So imagine her surprise when she got this letter wanting it gone, and she's not the only one. They're just letters about two and a half feet tall, and they've been in Ursula Arsenal's front yard for most of the year. Together, they spell one word, resist. It's more general statement to the political and social climate. But the word and its presumed meaning apparently touched a nerve. Your sign has our neighborhood concerned, and many feel it is in bad taste. Arsenal reads from an anonymous letter she got Monday, telling her, amidst typos and grammatical errors, that her display is bringing down neighborhood spirits and and property values and asking she take it down. I wonder about the energy that they chose to put into it in the sense that they're fired up enough about it to want to say something but not willing to accept a response. The letter signed your neighbors. It arrived in this envelope with Jenner and Block, a prominent Chicago law firm printed in the return address space. A Jenner and Block spokesperson says the firm hasn't used that envelope style since at least 2012. I love your work together. And it's not the first of its kind sent in Evanston. It has to be the same person. Gallery owner Lisa Tony got a similar letter with the same your neighbor moniker last year, criticized her Black Lives Matter sign, stating, You might not want to align yourself with a terrorist organization like the Black Lives Matter movement. She gave her letter to Belize, but points out the letter's free speech irony. I think it's a weird way to say that my significance is higher than yours in terms of what you get to say. Both find the letter's anonymity irksome. I would be more than happy and willing to respond to them. I don't think the person who's writing these letters is interested in engaging. Also tonight, that Jenner and Block spokesperson says the firm did not send the letter and they don't have any information about who did send it. And to be clear, both the women I spoke with tonight say they would defend somebody's right to put a sign on their property, even if they didn't agree with it, as long as it wasn't hateful. We're live in Evanston. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Erica. Okay.